the energy that he has in his character is just crazy. For any dad or mom, their own son's movie will be the best. Welcome to the Hindu. I am Bhuvanesh Chandra, and today we have with us actor Kalidas Jairam for the film Ryan. Hi Kalidas, how are you doing? Hi, I am good. How are you guys? I am really good. Uh, first of all, Ryan, how did it happen? Like, tell me about how you got the character, and you know how uh, the project you landed the project. So Ryan is a very uh, interesting and uh, fun journey. First, when Dhanush sir called me, I was uh, very excited. Uh, first, I didn't think that it was for Ryan because. Uh, even before that, I have been hearing about this movie, which Dhanush sir is going to be directing, and uh, I I had a knowledge that he he was he was doing a movie, hmm. but I never expected that he'll call me for this movie. Right. Then uh, when I after meeting him, <coughs> he narrated the whole uh, hmm. story to me, and he asked me, uh, "Kalidas, you're pondering love." So I was very shocked, to be very honest. Like um, a person who you really enjoyed on screen. Hmm. Uh, to be working with him, pure joy. <laughs> right. Can you tell me a little bit about without spoiling the details of it? Can you tell me about the character that you are playing? I am playing Sir's brother. Okay. Uh, so we have one family: uh, me, Sandeep, uh, Dushara, and Dhanush sir. So yeah, okay. I can say only that much. <laughs> right. And uh, so before Pumaram released, you had given an interview with the Hindu in which you said something very interesting. You said mm. how. You don't mind whether it's a hero or an anti-hero or a you know a sub character, but if it has a scope, yeah. I mentioned how like even if it has little, uh, you know, if you have like say just two, few scenes, yeah. if it can have the scope to create an impression, you would take yeah, it. Up, yeah, right. It's the you same. Know, yeah, since Power Kadika, we have seen that a lot yeah. in Tamil with uh, your roles, right? I wanted to ask like, how do you get the conviction mm. to know that okay, this role, even though it may have a like you know a relatively less number of scenes. Mm. I can still create an impression. That mm. conviction, right? Where does it come from? I think it's a gut feeling. Okay. Uh, when you initially hear a story, you'll have a gut feeling in you. Like no matter how many people like uh, sit with you to listen stories or like uh, how many ever people you ask opinions mm. about, it's that initial gut feeling which will always right. work. Uh, I've been fortunate enough. Uh, for my decisions have worked according to that. Mm. Uh, and uh, see, it might never work in future. It might not work. For now, it's working, so I'm just sticking with that. Right. And another imp- interesting detail about how the uh, script selection is: much of these roles are roles that ha- that can lend you to disappear into the roles. Like for mm. instance, uh, if you take Prabhanjan, we know you as Prabhanjan. Mm. We know you as Indian. We know mm. you as Satar. Right. Mm. While that shows the merit uh, of mm. your as a performer, conventional heroes will want them mm. to stand out. Right. Yeah. So can we? Uh, are you trying to balance it out? Like how? Not really. I don't know to do the conventional <laughs> thing. Okay. To be very honest, like uh, I mean, obviously that is what uh, Inish like will uh, will actually hold you as a hero mm-hmm. in the industry uh, if you look at it as in a business point of view. But honestly, I'm yet to learn all that. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm uh, mainly right now. My passion is just acting. So uh, I am feeding the actor in. So okay, I'm just doing whatever works. Right, are you getting any sort of like guidance from your father about this? Because I mean, even now, yeah. even this year, we saw Abraham Osler and he was terrific in that. So, yeah. uh, how does he guide you with these aspects? You have told uh, before how you. He I don't like yeah. uh, get any guidance as okay. such, uh, but uh, uh, I don't ask him if my movies are good or not because uh, for any dad or mom, their own son's movie will be the best. Hmm. So they'll whatever, even if it's bad, they'll say it's very good. Hmm. So I don't ask them for uh, my opinions. I leave that to the audience. Okay. Uh, but um, I'm very happy that, uh, like, end of the day, I'm able to sit with them and like discuss much more than just cinema. Hmm. Uh, at home, like, uh, we talk about lot of other things than cinema. Right. So it's mainly uh, our relationship is not just limited to. Cinema. Right. See, you entered the film industry when quite you were young, as mm-hmm. child, that is right. Uh, quite often, it can happen for actors. Uh, that after a point they lose perspective on where to get a uh, objective criticism of mm. their own work mm. to understand how they are doing. Right? Mm. They can search. Um, I mean, now we have social media and stuff, mm. but it's overwhelming. Like yeah. there are so many. Uh, where do you go for to know how people are actually objectively looking for? You know? uh, definitely social media. Mm. Uh, generally, when you meet uh, people outside, like mm. for lot of people, lot of actors I've seen like they shy away from. these photos and yeah. like uh, fans and all mm. that but for me like 
as an actor i look for that validation where like if i've done some work i want people to come up to me and say that it's it's nice or mm. it's uh, it's really the performance has moved them so in that way uh, when i meet people is when i know like if things are working out right. according right. to what they've done right. right and coming back to ryan uh, you have said this before that you are a director actor yeah right and we have a director in this film who has acted under uh, like <laughs> yeah. 45 more than 45 films 49 under, 49 films yeah. acted under different directors so that i assume that gives him a little bit of more uh, understanding of both the director actor equation right yeah. he might know better as to how to extract a performance as well did you notice any such advantage uh, definitely definitely he is um, uh, in fact i i enjoy dhanush sir the filmmaker more than dhanush sir the actor hmm. because um, uh f- see a uh, a person who like i myself want to make a movie someday like it's it's always been my dream um of course i want to be an actor but end of the day like uh, uh, before like before i finish my career or something i, I always want to make that one movie yeah. uh so uh, so being that person like seeing uh, an actor like dhanush sir you know putting so much of effort Uh, it's not just uh, him directing a movie hmm. it's like it's his vision it's the it's the way he has conceived the the world um it's it's not an easy thing i mean i know for a fact that it's not easy to be directing a movie of such scale right uh, so i've learned a lot from him uh, like um, uh, without uh, paying fees i've gone to the school and i've learned a okay. <laughs> lot of lessons can you give me like a sort of an small example without any spoiling about the film can you give me example about the uh, kind of the thing that surprised you with you know danish direction see like uh, even um, he never sits in one place like uh, he's if if he wants he can just sit in the monitor lean back mm. have some coffee and just direct whatever like mm. he wants he, we have mics now but uh, if anything he is not satisfied he make sure he goes to the spot he does that on his own like the the energy that he has as a director is just crazy because mm. even the assistant directors are scared to like sit in one place because they have to be on their toes mm. at all times and uh, sir he strives for that perfection so until he gets that he will not uh, quit so that's what i learned from um, you are son of a great actor and you have been in the industry for so long and in this film particularly acting alongside a lot of great actors right so a lot is being talked about uh, acting uh, per se i want to ask this one particular detail which is um so as you might know because of social media there's a lot of conversations about diminishing attention span mm. and the meter of what is considered as overacting keeps changing okay right does it ever because you are a young actor who is in you know who's in uh, all social media and stuff like that does it ever consciously or subconsciously sort of you know seep in about how people are perceiving acting in general like in the this meter like you know maybe i should maybe people won't like it does it ever uh not really because if you keep thinking too much about it then uh, it will affect your work okay uh because i feel like end of the day um, if your director is happy and if you think that uh, the your character is going through the the graph that you mm. wanted to go then i think you are doing the right thing mm. uh provided like if people are saying it's overacting you you need to overact for certain movies like right. you can't always uh, do the same realistic kind of acting in all the movies mm-hmm. i mean that's why you're paying an actor so much like he should be able to do all kinds of roles mm. um so in that way i don't think too much about it. i still remember the first shot in ryan uh, i was very nervous because this is a world that i'm very new to mm. i've never done a proper north chennai boy mm-hmm. uh, very rough you know uh, so i've never done that so when i first went to set like uh, i was wearing my costume i did my makeup uh and then i was not feeling it like i i i thought something was missing mm. and then sir came he explained uh, he gave me uh, well, like he gave me pointers as to what to do and then i did my first uh, shot and uh, sir came walking from the monitor i thought like maybe he has some corrections mm. i say then he came and he patted me on my shoulder so that was uh, when i was like feeling very relieved and so that's when you know you're on the right path people associate a few stereotypes to mm. malayalam cinema and tamil cinema right yeah. you are someone who has grown in both the worlds so i want to ask you this um this meter whatever you're talking about uh there was a notion that you know okay malayalam films are realistic mm. acting is realistic mm. in tamil you get a little bit more space to be a little more mm. peppy and stuff mm. like that 
of course over the years with uh, it has sort of the difference has sort of reduced mm. but uh, having acted in both schools what do you feel is that i feel the emotion is same in all languages i feel like um, the language definitely it has its own uh, see like when you when you say a line in tamil uh, it sounds different it it feels different the the way you emote it is different mm. but the core emotion i feel is same in uh, tamil right. or let it be mm. any industry uh, take it french iranian like marathi tamil malayalam it's all the same so in that way yes i found uh, tamil for for me like a person who who's born brought up in chennai like the language that i think in is tamil hmm. so it's it's much easier for me to perform in tamil than malayalam like right. i can uh, i can say the lines without thinking so hmm. so tamil is easier for me okay malayalam is little difficult <laughs> right and uh, of course like uh, you are also reuniting with bushara as well as with apna balam in this yeah. film yeah. right yeah. so having known faces in the set uh, and knowing them like you know uh, like does it help you in some of that regard? definitely it does i mean like we um, uh dushara it's the third movie that we are working together hmm. uh, aparna and me we worked two movies together uh, sandeep uh, even though we have not worked i know him for a long time right um, i mean of course dhanush sir is the big name in the movie and with him after the first two three meetings i was very comfortable with him right. he also gave me that space hmm. um, he also told me like don't limit yourself you can talk to me about anything right so it was very nice especially working with uh, actors like sj surya sir mm. prakash raj sir uh prabhudeva master he was he choreographed our okay. song so these are all big names yeah. uh, rahman sir yes. so these are like big names that you've only like seen on screen mm. growing up right. so it, it it's a blessing to be working with them right and after i can you tell me what's coming up next for you so i uh, uh, i'm doing a movie as a lead uh, it's called nila varumai like yeah the horror uh, thriller right? yeah it's a horror thriller yeah. that's again a very exciting project that i want to talk about in future and i just uh, did a movie with uh, balaji mohan it's a right. romcom right uh, again it has me dushara and amala paul okay yeah, so three of us so that's ready for release right uh thank you so much for talking to us and it's a pleasure and you know can't wait to see what you've done with Ryan and thank all you. the best for the future thank you i i hope everyone uh, enjoys the movie as much as we did making it yes thank you thank you thank you so much thank you